Hey there, I'm Connor from The Nude Party. My name is Sean. Hi guys, I'm Don. I'm Patton. My name's Alec. This is John Catfish DeLorme. This is Bros from The Nude Party. Thank you for hitting my line with some personal questions. I'm gonna answer them now. So I say, I say the question and answer it. If you each could live in one cartoon universe, which would it be? I would probably live in Chalk Zone. I would just keep drawing Bitcoins and selling them. This is an easy one. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. I was thinking it'd be cool to be one of the um, tiny rebel humans from Fantastic Planet. Is real love supposed to be hard? What makes it worth it? I think I think real love is hard. It's very hard. There's a give and take. I think real love is supposed to be hard because it's hard to find it. It's hard to keep it going. But if you can do it, then it's not that hard. You just gotta believe in yourself. You can do it Aww. if you believe in it. How does Alec prepare his famous salmon. How does Alec prepare his famous salmon? How does Alec prepare his famous salmon? How does Alec prepare his famous salmon? Well, I wouldn't say it's famous. And sometimes it comes out right. He gets the, the local fresh salmon. As far as I've seen, he likes to... Kind of puts it all on a baking sheet. Drizzles it with olive oil, parmesan. I think he used to pan fry it, but I'm pretty sure he's, he bakes it now. And then at some point he goes, Oh shit! He likes to cook his fish on a grill that's extremely hot. He likes to not lubricate it with oil so that when you remove the fish from the grill, much of the fish is still actually stuck to the grill and burning. Well, there's a number of different ways you can do it. <laughs> Favorite fast food restaurant? Ooh, okay. Cookout, if I'm in the south. Cookout. I'm partial to Taco Bell, because they have they have the widest variety of vegetarian options. I used to, I used to love cookout. I really did. But I think I like Bojangles more. I know. Hey boys, long time listener, first time caller. Been to about 10 shows, and I can't wait for the comeback tour. Do you guys have a specific show or era of the Grateful Dead that has influenced y'all's music? This is disappointing, but no. I, I don't know. Wow. Uh, where to begin with this question? It's hard to pick just one. There's so many, so many varied areas of the Grateful Dead from the 60s. Hate what are y'all's favorite types of bread? Um, I've been making sourdough. I like onion rolls from Pex Market. Doing sourdough, eating sourdough. I'm not the biggest fan of bagels though. I think probably my favorite type of bread is a brioche, a uh, croissant. If I was have to pick one, I would have to say in between 91 to 95. Did the song Judith take any inspiration from the apocryphal? That's not a word, is it? From the apocryphal book of Judith from the Old Testament. And if not, can you talk about the lyrics and what the song is about and how it came together? I think, no. <laughs> it's not from that book. Judith, to my mind, was a, a play on Judas and a betrayal. We're talking without a net all the way up to the final Soldier Field shows. You got Bruce Hornsby in the mix. Imagine the movie about your band is hitting the big screens. What <laughs> actors will play each of y'all? Nicolas Cage should play every single one of us in sort of a face-off thing where he switches faces with each of us or something. Maybe have Vin Diesel play me. I think he's more, physically, we're more similar than Nick Cage. Like, someone like Matthew McConaughey. I think I'd like Cara Delevingne to play me. And if she's not around, then like Danny DeVito or like Cole Sprouse would be cool. The MIDI explorations of Jerry Garcia on the latter half of Drums in Space. Uh, what would you say is your favorite bone in the human body? Personally, I prefer the ulna. I don't know what the ulna is, but I really like my fingers. I like the wrists. I think, if that's a bone. Is that a bone? Thoughts on Billy Joel. There was a while where Pat and I used to, we, we would listen to The Stranger together. I like The Stranger. I like Uptown Girl. I really like We Didn't Start the Fire. That's a really good joint. But uh, I, don't, I don't know too much about, about BJ. Great songs in the repertoire. Bob Weir is really going for it. Uh, what is y'all's favorite movies? Top Gun is probably one of my favorite movies. Great soundtrack, Berlin, Take My Breath Away, Ring Any Bells. I think collectively, uh, 
triple X with Vin Diesel. Are you guys recording LP3 for 2022? Could be something cooking, maybe. Um, I like to think so. Definitely doing something. Might even be a double LP. But I say that with no weight or gravity behind it whatsoever. Yeah, it just seems like the band was having a lot of fun in this time. What is bros doing later? You know, he's probably relaxing, listening to some vaporwave, uh, just doing bro stuff. He probably cooked a great meal. Maybe cooking fried chicken. I'm so glad you asked. Uh, bros just woke up, so bros is gonna have some coffee. And later on, probably fry some chicken. What's the worst show you've ever played as a band? There has been a lot of them. Probably any show in the first four years of us being a band. We opened for open mic night once. The worst turnout we've ever had was zero. Patton, I don't know where he was. Uh, we'd start playing Green Onions. And everything seemed good on paper. And a, uh, a speaker fell in my head and then I was out. So right after we had played, Security, you know, forced us off stage. It's pretty much just Sean and Connor playing Green Onions for a crowd of 10 people. And some people got pepper sprayed. The worst we've ever played was definitely a lot of the early parties we played. Where we didn't even really learn a whole song. We just sort of learned, like, the chorus of Backdoor Man and thought that it would just come together. And it didn't. But... We did our best. And that's what it's about.